All right, the gang is back. It's the dog days of summer, and we're still racing to the roof. The next couple weeks are going to be a fight. Last episode, we tackled the first floor walls. This episode, we're working on the second and third floor. We started our second floor system towards the front of the house, over the office. The front of the house has a bearing wall at a 13 foot 10 span, allowing us to use single 2x12 joists. On the back side over our living room, we have a span of 19 foot 10, which requires us to use double 2x12s. These double 2x12s will beef up the support for the floor above, but they also added some serious manual labor. I would say this was the most physically demanding portion of the build thus far. We built the entire second floor system in a heat wave that consisted of temperatures in the 100s. Weather like this creates a significant challenge, but I'd rather be out here in this heat sweating through my boots than sitting around waiting for permits. With the second floor joist set, it's time to move this operation upstairs. Luckily, our buddy Mike is stopping in on Fridays to lend a hand and build a temporary staircase. Now that we're moving to the second floor plywood, I've noticed that my skills have improved. My comfort with tools has increased and I'm picking up on the patterns. I'm starting to recognize what the next move may be and positioning myself for it. My growth is not just an increase in efficiency and speed for us, but it makes working more fun. No one enjoys being the weakest link. Like the first floor, for the plywood we went right back to gluing the joists, dropping the sheet, pounding it into the groove, and nailing it off. It's time to start building the second floor walls, and not only am I improving, but we're improving as a team. The steps to build the second floor walls are the exact same as the first floor, so our team is seeing things for the second time and falling into our established roles.
Now on the first floor, if you remember, we decided to stand the walls up without headers or sheathing. We did this to reduce the weight and give us a better chance of standing up the walls with a small crew. But as you know, it didn't go well. This time we are trying a different approach. We're going to install the headers and sheathe the exterior now. This makes the wall much heavier, but we have a plan to lift these walls easily without risking lower backs or our lives. What you're looking at here is our relief. These are wall jacks. Wall jacks are a cable and pulley system. We nail the base of the jack, set the height, lock the cable into the top of the wall, and ratchet the walls upright. This is a much easier and safer way to get these completed walls up in the air. They're so easy, even my buddy Billy Muldowney can do it. Regardless, with these wall jacks, the second floor walls will be done in no time. With the second floor walls completed, it's time to go down and sheathe the first floor walls that we missed. Bobby and Matt hopped on the boom and worked their way around the house. As Bobby and Matt installed the sheathing, I worked behind them sawzalling the window and door openings. Well, there it is. It's time to start the third floor attic space. But before this goes in, you're putting <coughs> hangers on it at the appropriate location of layout. Okay? And we're going to stop, we're going to put another double here at three foot one. Double here. And and that wall. So, you know how we used to do basement stairwells like we did down there? We run, run the through. one through, yeah. Yeah. ultimately we'll cut, cut it. Out. Yeah. But this will carry the L right now. So, you're at three one, ultimate double, it's right there. You're coming this way, over there. We're going three one off of this And then you're here. putting a double to it at three foot one yeah. off of here. Got it. And this. then your commons fall in here. We actually don't need hangers. No, we will. We will. Because we're going to have a wall. Yeah, here's what. Let me think about this for a second. Because this attic stairwell, I have huge concerns that the attic stairwell is going to have a headroom problem coming off this roof. I haven't worked it out exactly, but. But we're sitting the roof up on joists and we're taking off what may be a reduced pitch from the plant. So I got to work out what headroom is on the left side of the stairwell. I haven't gotten there yet. But either way. Either way, Smitty's going to tell us exactly what we need to do to get this done right. And you guessed it, we're building the third floor system exactly like the last two. The reason he took his time to explain our plan is because two of Smitty's co-workers and lifelong friends Johnny and Juan came by and will be giving us a week of their time to get this roof finished. 
I told you, it's a race to the roof. Even with a good plan, there can be some missteps. You alright, Bob? Yeah, I'm alright. Did you slip on glue? No, I misstep. Like always, Bob got right up and finished the job. Our next steps are to start building the scaffolding for the roof. We'll set the ridge next episode. Let's build a house. Next time on Let's Build a House. Finger